nice to meet you virtually, Justin. Happy to finally get to say hi. My name is Caden Blue Anderson. I use they and he pronouns, and I am a non-binary transmasculine human being. Hey, Caden, what's up? As a person of trans experience, I sometimes so badly want to have cis male friends uh, and have that experience of being one of the guys. An experience I had as a kid till the guys would develop crushes on me. Then um, they were seeing me as a cis woman or a cis teen girl. Um, and then friendships would end. The patriarchal system hurts all of us and really prevents us from being our most authentic, vulnerable selves. And in no way is that more apparent than in trying to make friendships. And specifically with your experience being signed female at birth, I understand how frustrating that must have been to try to become friends with boys only to have them develop feelings for you. Because as boys were taught, that there are no friendships between boys and girls, men and women. There's no such thing as platonic friendships because we sexualize them. And if there is a rejection, well, then we are rejected and then we have to move on. As y'all have talked about on the podcast about how men make friends situationally, um, at events um, or however have you, but women are able to connect and form relationships in other ways, which is a skill I possess as someone that was assigned female at birth, but now have struggled with making friends in my current transition state uh, in my masculine appearing body. How can I not feel weird about calling up a dude to schedule <laughs> a time to hang or just to say hello um, without that other guy feeling like I'm weird? I can't give you the recipe or the exact way to cut through all of the armor that we as men have when it comes to just calling up a person or saying, hey, do you wanna hang out? So one of the things I've learned is to just, I hate to say it, be man enough to just tell them what you need, tell them what you want. Hey, I don't have a lot of friends, I'd love to hang out. If somebody doesn't hold that, if somebody rejects that, if somebody rejects your vulnerability and your just honest desire to have a, a new friend or to have a conversation, then move on. There will be other men, I guarantee it, who are just like you emotionally and who will want to have that friendship. Friendships are rooted in vulnerability, they're rooted in trust, and all of those things create safety. And we have to have safe spaces in our male friendships. If we don't have safe spaces, there's no way we can be vulnerable, there's no way that we can grow, and there's no way that we can be there for each other to not just become the best men we can be, but to become the best humans we can be. I'm sending you tons of love. Thank you for listening. If I ever see you, I'm down to hang out. You're awesome.